Hello baddies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a rock and roll. I don't really know what we're going to be doing in today's video, to be honest, because I currently woke up about an hour and a half ago. Very late, I know. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. So we're just going to let the ball roll down the hill and see where we go. Probably in the river, but we'll roll with it, do you know what I mean? So, anyways, without further ado, let's just get on with the video. Right, so, we're actually going to start off with eyebrows. I didn't actually do my eyebrows before this situation happened. Anyways, um, right, so I'm just taking the Revolution Pro Pomade. I actually don't like this, but it's the only thing I have, so I have to use it. So, yeah, it's whatever, but, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be using on my eyebrows today. So yeah, I'm actually going to voice over this bit because it's a process and I can't be talking for about 20 minutes doing one thing, so yeah. So this me, just doing my eyebrows, um, because it's a process, I don't want to talk during it. They do end up horrendous, but then we sort them out afterwards, so if you're like, what the heck is that? Well, they get sorted out with concealer, so yeah, let me do my brows. This is awful. <coughs> Okay, right and back, the eyebrows are absolutely outrageous. So we are going to conceal them to shape because this is horrific. This is this is a hate crime. That is what it is. A bloody hate crime. So yeah, anyways, so I'm gonna be concealing now the top and bottom of my brows with the Jeffree Star concealer in the shade C3. So yeah. You need to make some brows nice because, well, mine look horrific, so, yeah. I mean, right, so, that's that. Um, now we're literally going to prime using the Technic Smoothing Primer. Um, I quite like this primer, it's silicone uh, base, I think, um, and it just fills in the pores and it gives you a really nice, clean, slate to apply a foundation onto so yeah make sure you just rub that all into your skin to give it a nice clean base to um lay out your foundation on too once you've done the primer you want to move on with wet and wild foundation um i love this foundation it's super cheap um like it's super affordable and it is just overall a really good foundation to be honest. I got mine off Beauty Bay. Um, if I want to remind look over here, my mirror's over here. Um, but yeah, I got mine off Beauty Bay and I literally think it's about £4. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is the smell. It does reek like you're doing up your new house of paint. Um, but once you've got the powder on and everything, you can't smell it. But Putting it on, it's a bit stinky, not gonna lie. Uh oh, stinky! You know that one. So yeah, it does smell like that. Like, I don't know. Like, it smells like paint and apples. I think it smells like apples and paint. I don't know, but that's just me. But, yeah. So now I've done that. Uh, this doesn't match my neck because it oxidises. It, yeah, that's a bad thing about it. It does also oxidise. Um, but not too much. So yeah, so anyways, now you just want to go in with the beauty blender that you couldn't be bothered to damp um, and just blend it all in. And also, if you're wondering where my nose piercings have gone, I took them out because every time I done makeup, they were getting like really, really infected and really gross and I literally just wanted to be sick. So now you've blended out your foundation, you want to go in with a concealer. I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Concealer because this is a really good concealer. I really do like it. Um, and you're just going to put that under your eyes, chin, nose, forehead, upper lip, and wherever you want to highlight, really. Um, I use concealer to highlight rather than hide my bags, but it does also hide my bags. I like to use a lighter uh, concealer, so it, like, highlights, you know what I mean. Oh. So now I'm going to blend all of this out, um, get it right under the eye, make sure everything's all flawlessly blended, um... You know what I mean, just make it all perfect. Um, 
So yeah, but I've also come to the conclusion I'm actually really in need of surgery since Instagram took away that really good filter fuming about it because it was literally one of the best things I ever wanted in my life. That was literally like what I want to look like. That is literally like how I want to look. And they've took it away so I'm not very really happy about that. But as you can see with the Jeffree Star concealer it really does like brighten up the under eyes and it's really nice to blend. Um, so yeah and then just gonna do your forehead. So yeah it's a really good concealer so if you are planning on buying it it's definitely worth the £21 it costs. So yeah. So now you have concealed and blended it all out you're gonna go and set your face with a loose powder, translucent powder, whatever you want to use. Um, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star um, loose powder because it smells really good and also leaves your skin looking really flawless. Um, I'm actually going to open this beauty blender from Primark. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to use this beauty blender from Primark just so I can actually like get up in the eye. So you're just going to put some powder on it. And then you're going to want to just press it under the eye. To make sure it's all set. Mine's already creased. I don't really care about creasing under the eye because I'm actually over it. So yeah, then you're just going to press all of the powder in. I'm actually going to use a beauty blender to set my face now. Um... So yeah, just gonna grab some more powder and just powder up my face. Um, and then after this, we're gonna bronze contour and whatever else that comes with that. So now I've done that. Um, I'm actually just gonna take my. I'm just gonna take my Anastasia contour palette um this is very loved as you can see it's in a state um and i'm just going to contour my face because this is like one of the best contours there is so yeah i'm just going to be taking uh the cool shade and a warm shade the cool of these two so yeah those are the two shades i'm going to be taking and then i'm just going to be contouring my face so i'm going to be contouring my cheekbones Oh, that looks kind of good, but I'm not going to over contour because sometimes I over contour and then when I put bronzer on it just looks awful. So I'm just going to be blending in circular motions over the cheekbones like so. So yeah, you just want to blend it all out, make it really cute, contour your jawline, this literally does nothing but it's whatever and then I like to go over my nose. I literally just go like this. I don't do the precise lines. I just like to bronze up my nose and under my eyes. And I also do this with bronzer as well. So now you should look like a bronze goddess to be honest. So now you've done that, you want to bake again. You just want to bake. Um, You just want to bake under your contour to make it really sharp and snatched. Um, yeah, you want to make it really snot sharp and snatched. So it looks oh, better even that. Oh, whatever, I'm over it. Okay, right. So you want to make it sharp and snatched and whatever else so yeah literally just bake your contour i'm gonna highlight while this is baking and um, so i'm just gonna be taking the doll beauty highlight because this is literally one of my favorite highlights ever i literally love it especially the light shade i do mix two i do mix both of them um but yeah so now you just want to apply that to the highest bit of your cheek you want to go like that and then literally apply it right on that bone so it just goes like see that it's cute isn't it really cute i don't know what you're gonna want to do now actually um you're gonna 
put a bit of mascara on, whack a bit of mascara on. I'm taking the Wet n Wild um, concealer, I mean, <sighs> mascara, and just whack that on your eyelashes, babe. Do you know what I mean? Um, you want to put quite a lot on, but not make them clumpy. Um, so, yeah, you just don't want to make them clumpy, just so there's enough on your eyelashes to blend with the fake ones to play with fake bitches. Can you imagine? That's really evil. I don't know whose fault that is. My legs or the camera, but it literally just fell. Rude. Right. Right, so I'm back with the new eyelash. We're going to be using the Huda Beauty Eyelashes and Style Noella. Um, let's hopefully these don't snap. Right, there we go. Right, so now we're just going to blow it a little bit, and then put it on. Oh my god, my eyes are watering! Oh my god, I'm just going to make a breakdown in a minute. It really, really annoys me when this does this. So, now we're going to do an inner corner pop. I'm just going to be taking this Aurora palette, which I've literally had for about 700 years. Um, and we're just going to add a little bit on into the middle, just make it a little bit... Do you know what I mean? Uh, right, so I'm just going to be taking one of these little brushes. They're literal. This is a hood view one. But, yeah, so I'm going to be taking the shade of Spectra. It's just this little purple one. It's really cute. Uh, like, reflective something, something. I don't really know. And then I'm just going to add that to the inner corner just to give it a little, like, pop. Um, as you can see, it's really cute. Oh, this is kind of the look which my friend has done. Um... So yeah, if you want to go watch his video, his video is Harizol. Yeah, Harizol. Um, I'll link his channel down below. Um, I literally just thought of doing like this extra little bit, but he's actually just done this look as well. So I'm just gonna say this look is inspired by him now. So yeah, you should go follow him. He's really good at makeup. He's really funny, and I love him. So yeah, make sure you go follow him. So for lips, we are gonna be taking the shade Daddy by Jeffrey Star. This um. I don't know if you can buy this anymore. This is literally like two years old. I probably shouldn't be putting it on my lips, but whatever. Um, but yeah, it's literally like really old. So I don't know if you can get it anymore. It's the Money Every Way like collab. So yeah, anyways, I'm just going to apply this to my lips and then yeah. Yeah, right. I really thought I was going to see myself in there, didn't I? Pranked. Right. Okay, I'm not going to lie. My lips actually are pounds, so... Yeah, but anyway, so this is the final look. Um, just a cute, kind of natural, cool-toned vibe. Um, I don't know if you're going to hear my nan splashing about while she's washing her hair. But if you can, I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial I've just done. Um, it's kind of natural, like, you could get away with it, like, walk down the high street or whatever, you know what I mean. Um... But yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below and also hit the subscribe button down below along with the bell so you know every time I post. And yeah, so if you did re recreate this look, make sure you tag me on Instagram. All my social medias will be down in the description box as well. So yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.